We are delighted to have with us our keynote speaker for the evening, Mr. Rohan Bopana. Hailing from the district of Kodagu in Karnataka, Rohan Bopana ranks amongst the most premier tennis players of the country, specializing on grass courts. Rohan took to tennis at the age of 11, but continued to play hockey and football until deciding to pursue tennis professionally at the age of 19. He made his debut for India in 2002, and over the years, Rohan has partnered with numerous players in both men's doubles and mixed doubles tournaments across the globe. In 2017, Rohan went on to win his first Grand Slam and to honor his contribution to the sport, Rohan was awarded the Arjuna Award in 2018. Rohan has also set up his own tennis academy in Bangalore and Coimbatore to inspire the next generation of tennis players into representing our nation at the international stage and develop tennis at the grassroots level. He recently became India's top ranked men's doubles player in the world by breaking into the top 20. When he's not on the court, Rohan enjoys spending time with his wife and three-year-old daughter. Rohan is joining us from Tel Aviv, Israel, where he is currently playing the Tel Aviv Watergen Open. And to give you all the good news, he has just won the quarterfinals. Please join me in welcoming Rohan Bopana. Over to you, Rohan. Thank you so much, uh, Ratnanda. It was um, uh, sorry. First of all, uh, you know, I'm a little um, looking uh, pretty red here and uh, sweating a bit. Uh, that's because I came, I'm coming right from my match. I just played my quarterfinals and I didn't want to keep all of y'all waiting. Uh, I know um, uh, I was very eager to be here at the FFP Open House event. I thank uh, Pratana for really getting me here to this platform, speaking to you guys. Um, for me, it's been 20 years playing at the ATP level. I uh, debuted... Uh, uh, on the ATP circuit in 2002. And uh, it's been a long journey, great journey, a lot of learnings. Uh, but, uh, you know, having said that, I grew up in Bangalore, uh, but I was, um, sorry, I was born in Bangalore and grew up in Kurk. That's where my parents still live, uh, in the beautiful coffee plantation. Um, I had the privilege of, uh, uh, you know, spending some fantastic time in this beautiful destination, Kulk. Um, and also, I played all the other sports before I started uh, tennis. And th there was a tennis court which was uh, right next to our house. Um, my dad, actually, with a few other members of the uh, tennis club, they taught themselves tennis. And uh, hence, he wanted me to actually pick up the sport. And he says back then when uh, uh, he gave me a tennis racket, the first thing uh, um, he says that there was a lot of eager uh, to really enjoy the sport. I think I was just happy being outdoors, uh, playing any kind of sport. Tennis was new. I was going to the tennis court, watching all the members play from after school when I came back home. Uh, but this this was something I enjoyed. So slowly, as a, this was uh, at the age of 10, uh, is when I first picked up my tennis racket. Um, and then after a year, year and a half, my dad decided to take me to the tennis court before going to school as well. And, uh, you know, I used to wake up at uh, five o'clock. So my dad back then said, the only thing to do is to first uh, get up at five, go for a run. Uh, I don't know how many people are, uh, you guys have been in Kurk. Uh, so when you run at 5 a.m., there are no street lights. Uh, so, you know, when you're running on the road, it's pitch dark and somehow your eyes get used to you know that uh, that light slowly as it's getting brighter through the day but um, after maybe a month or so I told my dad you know it's getting hard to uh, you know do this runs by myself so he told somebody uh, from our coffee estate to start running with me so that I had some company to run with and everything as I was learning tennis my dad at the age of uh, 14 decided that uh, I need to go to a tennis academy and obviously to improve myself uh, and get better the, at the sport. At that point of time, we went to numerous academies uh, trying to get scholarship. And I think about four or five of the 
best academies in India at that point of time. Uh, they all said I was not good enough. Uh, and they said, that, unfortunately, I can't be training there. Uh, so right in the end of uh, uh, the year, uh, there was a coach from uh, Pune who came to Mysore. And my dad decided to speak to him and, say, and ask him whether I can join the academy. He said that uh, it was a Nandan Ball Tennis Academy, also run by Mr. Narendra Nath and Mr. Balachandran. Uh, he said, we can't give your son a scholarship, but he can come there and, you know, uh, pay the regular fees and start training. So at the age of 14, I went to Pune. Uh, my dad took me there. And the first thing when we landed in Pune, he told me, I'm going to take you shopping. So I was like, wow, this is really fantastic that I would love to go, uh, uh, you know, straight away, come to a new city and go shopping. He, where he took me was to the bicycle store and he bought me a bicycle and said, this is your mode of transport for the whole time I'm going to be there. So I stayed in a hostel, uh, woke up again at 5 a.m. every day. 5.45 was a fitness. Uh, 9 to 11, I had tennis. And again, 2 to 5, I had tennis. So through the day, just commuting was about 14 to 15 kilometers. And I did this day in, day out. Uh, you know, for about four years. At the age of 19, uh, I told my dad I can't use this uh, bicycle anymore and I need a motorbike. And I think I literally took that bicycle and, you know, uh, threw, it, threw it out because I had enough of that. And uh, he bought me a, motor a motorcycle. And, uh, uh, you know, talking about that motorcycle, the motorcycle, it's still there with me in Pool, you know, 20 years later. Uh, but I think... That journey, when I was playing a lot of junior tournaments, uh, not winning matches, losing first round constantly, constantly, going in to different cities. It was expensive travel. And every time, you know, my parents were spending this kind of money, but there were no really results happening. But the biggest part, but, you know, for me, what helped was my parents... Uh, really supported me all the way. Even, um, you know, when I didn't really have the results, the biggest thing was they told me as long as I'm giving 100% on the tennis court, that is what is going to make the difference. And I think when they came for matches, they showed, I mean, they saw the commitment from my end. And I think that's what really helped them to keep uh, persevering, uh, you know, with me. And I think for me, the biggest strength is my perseverance. I think constantly making sure I did the right thing, followed what the coaches said back then, did uh, the fitness accordingly, whatever was taught. So at the age of 21, when I went to uh, Chennai, there was a big nationals tournament. And uh, that is where suddenly I was, you know, six foot three, uh, much stronger. And I had a big breakthrough in that tournament in the nationals. I a B3 of uh, the guys who I'd never ever beaten uh, in my career. And I think that made the switch. That gave me confidence in my own game, own belief. And that was in 2001. I was 21. So normally when I talk to everyone out there, don't I say don't be in a hurry to try and get success. It takes time. It's a journey. It's a process. And the biggest thing is to have short-term goals. Always, uh, you know, yes, have, have the eventual goal, but break it down and try and find every two months, three months on what you can do, how you can improve. Uh, and in 2002, I got selected for the Davis Cup team. Today, in 2022, I'm still playing uh, for India. Uh, I tell my wife sometimes, uh, I don't know if it's a good thing because, uh, yes, it's, uh, I'm proud to represent India, play for India. Uh, but that also shows that the tennis has not really grown in the country. So there, it is a catch-22 situation. Uh, and I really feel that uh, tennis is such a wonderful sport. It, um, a lot of the parents... Uh, uh, you know, when I talk to the, uh, today when I'm having an academy and I talk to the parents, uh, the same thing what I just mentioned was, was not to be in a hurry to pull them out and slowly give them that 100%. Take it one step at a time. Every journey out there, you have to believe in yourself first without committing to anything else. First, you need to 
understand whether you can do it and that is what i think is going to make the difference and you know uh, over the years there have been a lot of challenges i went through a, a shoulder surgery back in uh, 2006 back then i remember sitting in my apartment thinking what is my next step am i going to even be playing tennis again uh, if i can't play tennis what do i do so what really helped was having friends who are positive staying around friends who are positive not talking about my injury not uh, talking about tennis and you know keeping uh, the situation away from what was needed and i think that helped so that also um, when you're feeling low when you're feeling down make sure you have people to to really support you uh, keep you a lot positive i know it is extremely difficult at times you know sometimes when you um, are feeling though nothing is going right for you you feel that oh okay every time i try something uh, i'm not getting it right but the biggest thing is every day is a new day new challenge new opportunity uh, and i think this is where when i play day in day out even today i mean uh, i was playing a match uh, today we lost the first set came back uh from a set down uh, uh, you know played that second set very close tie break and then also came back to win the third set tie break i think till that last moment till that last uh opportunity you have you need to keep believing in yourself keep pushing because there is always a way to find this and keep uh you know challenging yourself and getting better uh i hope to really uh come and speak to you guys in front of y'all uh, uh, you know one day um, i know it's uh, these times i'm here in tel aviv you guys are you know all over the country all over the world uh but hopefully i can come and uh, meet up with y'all and uh, you know uh and thank you again for having me on this platform i think uh, it's a fantastic platform and i uh, really hope uh, you know that i get to see you guys uh, so thanks so much for uh, you know pratna for uh, and the entire team for having me at the ffp open house